Good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, our paint pouring community or cellmates as I like to call you all. I'm going to do, probably this will be a two part, I just because I think, I don't think this will take very long. I've been trialling this, um, it's called Fusion, what's it called, okay, Painted Beautiful Pouring Resin, it's a... 100% acrylic polymer emulsion. It's a water-based pouring resin. So I have just poured it directly from the bottle on my um, MDF round that I'm going to make into a clock. So I've poured one coat just, and it, it was quite thick, so tilted it and spread it. And then I did do another thin coat the next day so um and it's lovely sort of glossy and shiny and it doesn't have a strong odor and it's not a it's not a, anything like two-part resin with you've got to work quick with it but i think that's because we're having 35 36 degree heat days but um so i'm just trying it on different things so i've tried it on the mdf and i want to which it's coming beautiful so i I'll, I'll get to that and drill my hole in there and put my clock figment but I haven't got round to that because I've been so busy but I'm going to try and pour it over my swipe that I did with the boom gel stain I know I only did this about a week and a half ago or maybe two weeks now but the, this particular paint dries really quick and it's not thick and gluggy or anything so I believe that's absolutely fine to pour um, probably one thing that I should do because I always find I don't resin I don't resin paintings because I think I've told you before because I find if you if you were to resin the paintings it's quite heavy on a canvas resin and it can make your canvas bow and also if you're trying to sell your work you've got to sell it for quite a lot more because resin along with what you've already spent is very expensive so you know sticking to something that's coating it if you want a gloss coat or a dull coat that is not as expensive is obviously more beneficial um, because once you put resin on you'd have to sell it for probably double what you would have to sell it if it didn't have resin on so I'm just putting these little pegs because that's what they're for is to stretch your canvas so I knew this canvas was did have a little bit of sag in it so I will just do that to stretch my canvas even though I have sprayed it with water and all the tricks that you can do to get your canvas nice and taut well that seems fine so we'll go with it so what I'm going to do on this because I'm doing it on canvas as opposed to the MDF I'm going to try and just water it down a little bit being it's um, being so that it's actually uh, water based I'm hoping that I can thin it down and I hope so because I don't really want to ruin that because that's already um, sold <laughs> So I don't want to, oh, what's happening here? I'll get my, my pokey thing, hokey pokey, just this, just pushing. So I'm just gonna, I've just got, if you see, oh, it's not even a centimeter, maybe half a centimeter on the bottom of that water. So I'm just hoping that it, ups, you know, waters down nicely. So I'll use mostly resin. I'll probably put about a centimeter. I should actually put my plastic sheet under here because then any resin I can um, save but that should be so that's I'd say about a centimeter I'm not sure that 
not used this before except for that one I've done so I'm just hoping that I've got something in that already that's me got a heebie-jeebie heebie-jeebie or a gubber or pookie or whatever everybody calls them different names so it has not got any strong odor so you're not like I mean everybody should be wearing a mask and gloves and everything as such a but it hasn't got a strong odour at all. I mean, I can't, can't really smell it. Maybe my smeller's gone. My, so just mixing that up, I'm just going to see. Put my gloves on. And um, get to it. Probably should have. I did this a bit backwards. I should have had my gloves on, but I haven't got it on my skin. But being a water-based, and it says it's non-toxic, um, it may not be the stuff that like people want to use for doing resin objects because that's like the two-coat system. But this is obviously going to be a nice coat over your work. So I am just going to pour plenty on and spread it. I mean, yeah, probably can do a bit of this waving about first, Bizzo. To just make sure I can get it everywhere and then I will spread it I know I um, I think it was Lucy McLeod put some a video on of um, another artist I haven't had time to look at it but she said that it was the best way of spreading gloss coating over your paintwork so I have to look at that in case it might work really well oh look at those colors being lifted by that that's so nice Oh, oh, look at looky looky. That's really lovely. See, I'm not, I mean, other times I'll use just, um, uh, what do you call it, a sponge brush to, I just want to pour the excess back off into my, I'm pouring it back into the bowl. I'll just kind of go around the edges with my fingers because I'll see what this first coat looks like because I don't want this a really high gloss glassy finish I don't think um, just think that resin on canvas has more of an opportunity to crack because of the canvas actually likes to breathe and in uh, climates that go hot and cold oh, oh, should I do that should I do that Ooh got to see whether it's all looks good looks even certainly brought the colors out on it that looks really gorgeous oh see a little bit where it's not quite ah, don't do that we're gonna ruin it now that's it pouring it back off any extra because I suppose it's better to put less than more because you can um, re-coat it again and go over a few mistakes or dibits that you might find but I am interested to look at the video that Lucy's put up saying that it's the best way of uh, coating your canvases so I'll see which artist it is and if I think it's a goer I'll post a link to you guys ask Lucy to post a link on my page so that's covered nicely and it's just brought those colors up absolutely stunning stunning I will post the link to this particular video where I made this swipe sort of uh, the bloom out of the boom gel stain that um, is creates like the bloom effect without any hard work whatsoever and buying all different products you just use the one product so I'm quite happy with that so let's fingers crossed all goes well now as I said I'm very very happy with my clock it will be a clock it's dried beautifully it's got a nice shine on it and that's I don't want it put any more coats on that I don't want it glass like or, well it is glass like actually 
but um, I have got a video of when I uh, coated this in that stuff but I want to um, do further work on it with you guys like putting the fitment in and some in, some more odds and odds and sods on there so I'll get to that I will post the photos of the dry work or uh, if it needs another coat then I'll continue this video so thank you guys for watching I hope that's been helpful this particular product the fusion pouring resin um, is on my if you in the drop down box I have an online art supplier that I buy my stuff from in Australia um, and it's a really good family business I'm not paid any commissions by them but I love to endorse them because they're super duper great customer service so uh, there is a link if you're in Australia and you want to buy this pouring resin they tell me that this this particular uh, fusion pouring resin is freely available in the USA I'm not sure about Europe and the UK I will try and have a look but if you google it or eBay it or Amazon it you will see so that's the I will post the link also to the actual video where I made this particular piece so thank you for joining me see you later I was trying to show you seem to get the to show you the glossy finish that it's got on it I gave it another coat but I gave it just a coat without uh, any dilution um, because I had a slight cracking when I added the coat with the water just on the very surface so I just put another coat on over the top and now I can't see that at all I'm trying to it's going to light some reflecting back but yeah, just wanted to sort of let you see. I mean, the colours have come up beautiful. Really um, brought the colours back up vibrant. So if you've got something that's metallic or uh, high sheen, it would look really beautiful. But yeah, that's the um, fusion pouring medium. Make of it what you will. I will definitely use it again.